So now we want to analyze our data. So here's our sheet. Now remember to get there. You go to the folder you made. You click on the response sheet from your form. And, and again, I'd added a few more questions um, here. So I had, um, but I'm only going to graph one, the favorite peeps. That's really the data that I want to look at. Now there's several ways to do this, but I'm going to try you the simplest way is to go to data and go to pivot table report. What it does down here, it opens a new sheet. And again, here is what you want to check on the range first. Now, if you're still taking data, people are still filling out the forms, you want to edit the range and you want to increase it. You know, so th there were 54 entries, so I'm going to add, change it to 100. So once it'll still add data and it'll update this uh, pivot table as data is coming in. So you always want to make sure your range is extended. Now the rows, I'm going to click favorite peeps because that's what I'm going to really collect. Now, as you see, for some reason there's a blank at the top. I want to get rid of that blank. Um, and to do that, I'm going to go to filters and click on favorite peeps and all items and just uncheck blank. And there you go. So it's gone. Okay, so now I'm going to, again, I'm back up here on my collecting it. And then now there's nothing, It's it's got blue and yellow. Those are the choices and the total. So I want to add a value. So I go to values and again, I'm doing favorite peeps and it just shows zeros. That's because it's trying to sum things. Now, if you click change sum to count A, there I have, again, I have blue, yellow, and the total. So it's it's counted the, the number of times it says blue and the number of times it says yellow and everything else. So, so here I have, again, my information. I could just take that and make an infographic, but another step is to make a graph from that so I can visualize it. But again, this isn't your infographic. This is just a chart or a graph. Remember how Gar Reynolds mentioned your graphs aren't infographics themselves. So here I have blue, yellow. If you hover over it, it gives the numbers. Um, so I could switch rows and columns. I could use row one as um, a label. So again, you can play around with these options and I'd like the, I'd rather have a, a, but my totals are making it look confusing. So I'm gonna actually uncheck, I don't wanna see the totals in my graph. So, and in order to do that, again, I just uncheck, I go back here and just uncheck that. And now if I click on graphs, it simplifies it. And I like the little bar graphs here. So I'm just going to keep that and say, um, it, again, so it's blue or yellow, but switch rows and columns, use column one. So again, you can now here, it's kind of nice because it, it shows the little graphs um, on the little key on the right. So there's different ways you could do it. Just figure out what makes sense for you. Now, if I go to chart, again, that gives you different charts or customize. And here you want to change your chart title. So, so I, mine was, a, again, the PEEP survey. Survey, that's my title. If you click on, there it is. You can change, again, you can change the size. Again, the font st title, type. Uh, again, where you want your legend. Could be above. Lots of choices. Again, the font, font type you can change. But if you change it, you might want to make it bigger. And now if you scroll down, you have your axis here. So my horizontal axis are the peep colors down the bottom. And now if I click on that, my vertical axis are the numbers, numbers of votes. So here again, it, it identifies your, your axis, axes. Keep scrolling down. Now here I have blue, because and so blue is the right color. But here I have yellow, but it's red. I can change it to yellow, which so it fits a little better. So so say I'm happy with that, and I hit insert. I take the little hand, and I'll just drag it over. So here again, I have I have a an interactive chart. So the more the data comes in, um, the more um, this will update. And I can also click on this little thing on the right, and I can save it as an image. One really cool thing is if you publish this chart and you leave it as interactive, and you do Control or Command A or Control A, and then Command C or Control C, you can copy this um, HTML code, put it in your blog or a website, 
and as the forms are coming in this chart will update and change which is really kind of cool but because we're for this lesson we're actually making infographics and not just using graphs um, we don't need to use that so again I have an idea now okay I've got um, 40 yellow and 50 and 13 blue but I do need my totals to do percents because I I think I want to take now I'm going to take this information and the next step I'm going to make an infographic from it so I hope this is clear and uh, we're ready for the next step of creating a more visually engaging graphic for this